Greetings. It is 1 p.m. I am still drinking coffee and I'm still in the clothes that I slept in last night. But I just found something on Lightroom that I thought you guys would really enjoy. Um, maybe I've just totally missed this, but I've actually never seen any videos on this. But again, maybe I'm just in my own head under a rock. So you see this image here, and this is one of the photographs that I shot out in Zion National Park, just like a nod, an homage to the great black and white photographers that I looked up to when I was first getting started in film black and white, and this like just simplistic, good light photograph. And you see this as the final image, but it took me hours to edit because I had dust spots all over the end of my lens. Now, maybe I'm a little lazy and I don't clean my lenses as good as I should, or maybe I just don't clean them at all. That part is actually true. But this is the photograph that I actually started with to get that image. Now, it's got dust spots all over it and it took me forever to get all those away. But I did just find this little trick. So if I go to spot removal, you can see like if I zoom in here, there's one, two, there's countless little dust spots all over this photograph that I would have to edit out. So if I go to the spot removal tool or hit the Q key on my keyboard, what it does is if I have this little box checked down here, says visualize spots, it turns it into basically like a mask of where the spots actually are and highlights those in the sky. This works really well if you have a blank sky or if you have solid colors on your sky and you can turn this off. This is what it would look like if you just brought in your image to the spot removal tool and just didn't even have visualized spots turned on. But if again, I click this little button down here, visualize spots, and you can crank this dial all the way up to really reveal and seclude out where those are gonna be. I like to turn mine all the way up just so I can see where they're all going to be. You can see how many there are. And instead of just clicking around through different parts of the image, I can now use this tool and this mask to find these spots and just edit them out within this masked version of the image so I can go ahead and work with this. It also helps me to see where the noise is in my images and helps me decide is this noise, is this a dust spot, what's going on here. So I can actually edit these out within this window so I can just you know, hover over my spot removal tool just right here. Now the downside is, is Lightroom doing a good job while I'm in this black and white window? And that's the only downside to this because you don't really know within this unless you have your colors memorized throughout the RGB space of your file, what kind of color it's choosing to mask over it or replace it with. And that's the problem here if you have a really colorful sky with like, yellows, oranges, reds, all different colors in a sunset, that would be a problematic. But if you just have a pretty standard solid color sky like in this photograph, it's pretty easy just to click through these very fast rather than search around within your window. Because with a black and white image like we ended up with, the final one, I'm just gonna hit done and then go to that final image. Like a final image like this, you know, I'm dialing up contrast a ton and then more dust spots come out when I do that. Even more come out when I add some clarity to it. Dodging and burning brings out even more. So it's just a whole process. I wanna get it done on the front end and that's why the spot removal tool and that visualize spots tool does an excellent job doing that.